Welcome back everyone. So I just jacked up the rear tire just for uh, just off the ground a little bit so I can get to the bottom here. Uh, I'm going to be putting on the Fine Lab Black Velvet Tire Sealant. Now, this is pretty simple to use. Again, you want to just clean your tires. I just wiped them down with some M122 Surface Prep as well. Um, on here, the print's pretty small, but it says you're going to use a microfiber applicator, pour a small amount of black velvet on their tire applicator, work the first coat in the tire well, follow with a second coat immediately for completing the full tire and a Apply evenly allowed 10 minutes dry time before driving and so this bottle is 120 mils this is all you really need if you're going to just use this on your own tires it's $16.50 I'll post a link uh, that you guys can actually go order it if you guys wish uh, they're claiming up to six months of longevity uh, let's see maintenance is just going to be uh, cleaning your your tire you know with, with soap and water and then uh, Whenever it's time you want to apply another coat, just go ahead and apply another coat. Uh, it's, it's, since it's the black dye, it's going to stain your white lettering and decals on there. So it tells you that your first coat, you're going to work it into the pores of the rubber, making your way around evenly. And then the second coat, you're just going to uh, let it let the first coat sit for a couple minutes. And then uh, if it says a few minutes, whatever that is. And then you come back and put your second coat. Uh, that one you just go straight line so you get even coverage and 10 minutes drying time maintenance pretty straightforward so uh, let me just go ahead i'm going to use a coating saver applicator and just shake this because i haven't used it in a while and again i've had a tire coating on here that i tried to strip off and was unsuccessful let me uh clean this off here okay so you can see it's kind of chunky i'm going to pick this piece out here and chuck it on the floor I don't know that's, that was on the top of the lid here so let me just put some on here I don't know what's wrong with this jack stand or this jack so we're, you want to make sure you don't get on the tire because it's going to be hard to get off so I'm just going to work it in here because your rubber is going to absorb it uh, just a little bit a little bit more you know the first time I used this I used a foam applicator and I got streaks galore and I didn't really like it and I didn't because I didn't follow the directions of using a microfiber applicator so I got it on the tire let me grab a I mean on the wheel. Let me wipe that off. I got careless. So this is more of a tire sealant, not a tire coating. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with this Jackson. I hope it doesn't fall on my foot. Got some there as well. This stuff will set up on you kind of quick. This reminds me of the old uh, Turtle Wax Endura Shine product. That was a black dye. Coming around this way. Got on the wheel. Got that right there as well. If you get it on the on the wheel and it dries on there, get, you know, get some panel wipe. That's what they recommend. got this section up here left okay so 
I'm gonna let that set up for just a couple minutes. Then I'll come back to you and I'll show you the second layer and how that goes on. I'm gonna let that set up for a little bit and I'll come back and we'll see how that looks. For a second, let me just put this here for now. So yeah, let me let that set up for a little bit and I'll come back and show you what it looks like for the second coat. But from here, it looks pretty good. Uh, it's starting to dry on there and it's got these circle things. That's why I don't really like using this product. It gets like these circle pieces on here and it looks funky. That's why I really don't like this uh, product that much. So let me just go ahead and let this set up and then I'll come back. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and put the second coat on here. I didn't let it sit for too long. And this time it says just to go around the uh, tire evenly. So I'm just going to go around it evenly. We'll go over a half. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more. Go the other half. Okay, and then we're gonna let you just let that sit for 10 minutes and I'll show you something real quick. Hopefully you guys can actually see this. So I don't know if you guys can actually see how it kind of opens starts to open up like cells on here. Uh, that's what the product does, and uh, we'll see if it gives an even appearance this time. Yeah, you can actually see how it's drying right there. So we'll, we'll see how that holds up over time and uh, we'll go from there. Once I pull the car out, I'll show you what it looks like uh, in, in full sunlight. All right, thanks for watching. Welcome back everyone. So I have all the wheels and tires off at the moment. And the reason for that is because, let me move over here, is I swapped the entire brake system over this, this weekend. So the GXP brake setup is completely on there, uh, completely swapped out. Everything went on just fine. The only thing I'm really waiting for is to borrow the power bleeder from my brother so that I can actually just uh, bleed the system and start driving this back to normal. I test fit the 18s, 18s clear just fine. Uh, no issues there, but it's gonna look really good. The red calipers look just fine so far. So the car's been sitting in the garage since I coated it with the PNS stuff. So it's just getting dust on there. So I don't expect it to be washed this weekend or anytime soon. Um, once I get to it, then I'll get to it. But now what I did want to show, let me see if I can back up a little bit, is this tire here, one of them anyways, has the black velvet tire seal, the other ones also. But I want to kind of just show you what it looks like in the garage. And it looks good. Uh, it looks like it, it went on uh, even, and, you know, it's dry to the touch. And I must say that the applicator, the microfiber applicator is the way to go because it just looks a lot better. Uh, so again, I'm just trying to mask the McKees one that's there. And I think this did a pretty good job um, this one doesn't have it, uh, but you can actually see, no, not this one. I'll show you the other one here, uh, what kind of things to expect, but it looks good. Uh, I'll show you outside right now. But this one here, uh, let's see if this one has it. Uh, sometimes you'll notice it has what looks like it doesn't bond very well. I can find out oh, here it is this area here so it's kind of what you'll get with this uh, tire sealant is you'll get these like looks like little circles on here little dots and th that's just the appearance of it that's just the way it looks and so again you'll see that on some of the tires it's completely normal but uh, one thing for sure is that it does finish out better with a microfiber applicator don't use a foam don't waste your time let me pull one of these out and I'll show you what it looks like out in full sun. Uh, so let me just pull this guy out here. And I can kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. I can rotate this thing. Alright, let me just put it down here. So that's what it looks like. And so it looks... You know, it looks a little glossy. You can now you can actually see what I'm talking about with this tire sealing. Is you get this type of appearance on it, and I don't know if that's from the 
it happens with the foam applicator, it happens with the uh, microfiber applicator, but you can actually see it's, it's, it's in various spots here. And so that's what you kind of expected, but I mean, it looks pretty good. It's not overly glossy. Let me pull this back up here. And just like if you're posted like this, hopefully it doesn't roll off too far. But I mean, it looks, to me, it looks a little too fake in terms of the application. Like it looks like there's a, a layer of plastic on there, uh, but it looks good. I'm just saying it looks like a piece of plastic on there. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what this looks like. I'm going to put this back in the garage because I am going to go back in the, in the house and call it a day here. But I just want to give you an idea of what the black velvet tire sealant looks like on a set of, uh, of tires. Again, they're claiming two to six month durability. I'll show you the bottle here. They're claiming two to six month durability of this guy. Uh, just kind of keep in mind that uh, it is going to last quite a bit of time. It will retain its look for quite a bit of time. Maintenance is pretty easy. And then again, if you want to just put another layer, uh, simply just wash it, wipe, you know, at least do a panel wipe. You don't have to surgically clean it with a tire cleaner. You could, you could use all purpose cleaner and then just go ahead and uh, top it with this again. But I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like with the Fine Lab. Um, black oil tire sealant out in the sunlight you can actually see what to expect on it. Uh, it I think a tire dressing still looks better than this this looks a little on the plastic side uh, just kind of letting you guys know uh, what it looks like all right thanks for watching